Hello, this is Ask Jack. And what I was asked this time was, my passive rails are ruined. Catherine has one that's been set aside because when the rails go bad, the lock becomes unusable. Is there anything we can do? Well, I've had some friends that tried to get new ones and they seem to be unavailable. So what I've tried to do is a restoration process to put those rails back into a solid, smooth, usable condition. We're going to show you some pictures of the results. Catherine's tested them extensively. You can, too can get in on this program. All right, what we're going to try to do today is talk about those poor passive lock rails. Many of them, and Catherine's got one sitting to my right, has been discarded because the rail has deteriorated. We're going to show you, this is a before picture right here. I'm going to help you twist it so we can see it the best. There we go. That split, this split, look at this guy, he's terrible. And then I'm going to back up and show you, there's actually a chunk missing mm -hmm. out of this one. This is a pretty bad before picture, it, however... As Jack twists and turns it and you see little slits and see the blue through the black rail, if you've never seen one of these in good condition, you should know it's supposed to be smooth and slick and no breaches no ventilation, nothing. Well, we're going to get to the after. This is one that I took off of a lock that a lady sent me to work on for some other reasons. But now, let me show you what we did to, a same, to the rail that was on that lock. And there it is, right there. This is that same rail. As Catherine was saying, it doesn't have the breaks, the splits, because we've repaired it. Actually, on this camera, I can see a repaired spot. Yeah. But although there's a color difference, it's smooth now, and that makes such a difference to the knitting. Let's see if we can put them side by yeah, side. Yeah. Is the oh, camera yeah, that's, seeing? Yep. Okay. But we're going to try and do that for every set of passive locks we can get our hands on. Again, we'll be back with more results. Alright, what I'm going to try to do is get my lovely assistant to help you see that if your passive lock rails don't look like these, then you're not getting the best out of the lock that you can. Now, <clears throat> as Catherine mentioned, you can see where I've made the repairs. There's a slight discoloration, but there's no change in the smoothness or the continuity of the rail. So this is the process that I'm going to try to offer to do for you if you send me your passive locks. And you can see the, where the breaks were and where there was inequities in the set of these. And wherever each of these was, was an opportunity for a needle to malfunction and drop a stitch. That's what happened to my old set. That's right. Here's the other set, of, the other half of this set of locks. And again, I'll try to get it in the light where you can see there is a difference in color, but there's no difference in the smooth lay of those rails. So this is what we're trying to do since there's not any new parts available. One of the things I like to offer is we can make it work if we have to. This, I think, will be an affordable process. It'll have to come with a deep cleaning and lubrication because once I've done this, I really need to go through and flush it out to make sure that none of the processing material is left in the lock. But Catherine has knitted with these extensively and now they're ready to go home.